Hi, Sarah Mack here, and today I'm gonna to share the process I went through to stop doing sales calls in my business. And this strategy really aligned with me because obviously it creates more freedom in my calendar and in my schedule. And that's a win for me. <laughs> like That's always what I'm going for when I'm making strategic decisions in my business. And this came about after going through a period of getting on sales calls with a bunch of people who either weren't ready or they just weren't quite the right fit to work with me. And, you know, after call after call after call, nobody was signing up. I felt tired. I felt fed up. And honestly, I felt desperate to just sign some clients already. And I knew there had to be a better way. And I was willing to do whatever it took to build the skill, to make it a smoother process to attract new clients into my business. So I decided to go really deep on learning and really mastering content strategy. I learned how to make choices in what I was sharing that would attract a very specific person, someone who was the perfect fit for me, someone who was the perfect fit for my offer, and someone who was ready to invest and do the work to get the results, also known as a ready to buy dream client. So, I stopped haphazardly sharing stuff about myself and my work online, and I really narrowed in on the content that spoke directly to my soulmate clients, and poof, like magic, they started showing up in my inbox, ready to sign up to my offers. No sales calls required. So there were a few key pieces to this process, which I'm going to share with you today. One piece that I changed was putting an application form on my sales pages for my programs. So this is just for my high level programs, not my digital courses um, or group programs other than my mastermind. So basically my um, private mentorship, high level private mentorship and my high level mastermind, because that's the purpose of a sales call, right? It's not just for the person to see if they're a good fit and they wanna work with you, but it's also a chance for you to see if this person is a good fit to work with you. And, you know, I only work with a handful of clients and I spend a lot of time and energy talking to these people every day. So it's really, really important to make sure that the people you're enrolling, you're actually excited to work with because I always say this, clients are some of your key relationships in your life, like outside of your family and your friends, you know, these are the people that you're sharing your life with during the time that they're working with you. So permission to be fucking picky and make sure that you're choosing people to work with, who you vibe with, who you love spending time with, who you respect and adore, and you know, who show up and meet your boundaries in the way that feels really good to you. So simply, you know, don't overthink this application form. You can use some of the questions that you would use on a sales conversation, like what are your goals? Um, you know, what are you currently struggling with? Like, why, why do you wanna work with me? Um, is a really great question. And um, anything else that you would need to know specifically about that person and where they're at in their journey that would, you know, identify them as in the, you know, well qualified and in the right stage of their journey to be actually working with you and your program that you've designed around what it is that you're passionate to help people with. So that's the first step is the application form. Before we get back to the episode, I have something exciting to tell you about. There were a couple of key things that changed everything in my life as an entrepreneur that allowed me to bring in six figures while working half as many hours and having more fun than ever before in my business. It was money mindset work around how I was doing business combined with getting good at sharing strategic sales content online. I know you know that this is your year to start hitting your 10K month income goal and living the life of creative freedom and fulfillment you have been dreaming about. You're ready to be consistently attracting total dream soulmate clients through the creative content you're sharing on social media, and you want to be reaching more people, charging higher rates, and working much less. So I'm very excited to invite you to join me in Freedom Club, my mastermind, where you'll receive tailored high-level support to master the skills that will create your dream life and six-figure dream business starting now. 
with focused weekly trainings and coaching calls to find the clarity on your content that's going to make you the most money, to design a simple fund launch strategy you'll enjoy following through on, plus daily support and feedback from me in the Boxer Chat, you'll find that sweet spot in your business where you're the most confident in your work, having the most fun and making the most money. Go to withsaramack.com forward slash freedom club to apply now. Now let's get back to the episode. The second step is to have a content strategy, right? To not be just like slapdash winging it and saying, you know, what you think about your offer and program and what you think people need to hear, but actually like knowing that, right? Like proving that concept. So if you're not already working with dream clients, um, and you you know you've already proven your concept you've already sold whatever offer it is that you're focused on on launching and selling do some research and by research i just mean have a conversation with the people that you are most excited to work with as clients and i you know i had a really simple process around this where i did some research calls and i share that exact process and strategy and tell stories that sell if you are interested in having support with that but essentially doing what you can using your resources and smarts and you know tapping into the networks and communities that you're a part of to actually have conversations with real people who are the perfect fit for your offer if you're not already working with them and if you are already working with them then base your content off what they're telling you um what you know about the way that they see their situation, what you know they're seeking and support that they're looking to pay for help with and making sure that all of these very specific pieces of information are represented in the content that you're putting out and actually focus all of your content around these pieces because this is the content that's going to be attracting um, and enrolling high level clients to, you know, to find the right people who are going to want to click on your sales page and fill in your application form to work with you. So the third thing is to just make the decision, right? And really commit to doing the work to get good at selling in your content because you will know when it's working because the sales are coming in because you have clients in your inbox being like, hey, like raising their hand, asking questions, saying that they want to work with you. And, you know, it's okay. It can take a little while when you first launch something to start um, getting those responses and, you know, for that message to really hit for the people who are in your audience and to start attracting the right people into your audience. It also doesn't have to, right? I've had clients who have come and worked with me and literally the first strategic piece of copy that they put out after working together, they sign a high ticket client. So it really is in what you're saying and how you're saying it and making sure that it's really, really targeted. And, you know, just like making sure that, you know, you're getting, you're you're getting getting good at it. So like enjoy your free time um, from not having to do hours of sales calls every week and really enjoy creating content. And you can also get really good at repurposing. I'm a big believer in creating once and getting paid forever, like making those strategic pieces of content that you can continue to put out there and recycle that will continue to attract dream clients over and over and over into your programs. So I haven't looked back since. (laughs) I love not doing sales calls and it's just the best. I love focusing my time and energy on creating really valuable, really epic content that's bringing in those dream people that I'm so excited to work with. And I love getting messages in my inbox from incredible people or just getting notifications in my email of, you know, new application forms that have been filled in. And I just absolutely love the strategy in my business. So If, you know, you have some questions around your content strategy and how to be attracting um, ready to buy dream clients into your offers, I'm super excited to announce a masterclass I'm going to be running next week called Live Streams That Sell Like Magic, where I'm going to share my process for consistently magnetizing instant sales from sole clients in just 30 minutes a week. So in the masterclass, I'm going to share what pieces were in place to create results like signing a 16K client from a seven minute live stream, 
Um, I'm gonna share, make sure that you understand clearly how having a live streaming strategy in place allows you to drop sales calls from your calendar altogether. And I'll share my simple planning, speaking and repurposing process with you that takes less than 30 minutes a week. I'm so excited for this masterclass. Um, go to my website or click the link in the show notes at withsarahmack.com to sign up for that. And if you know you're ready to dive in um, and get you know in-depth support from me with building out that content strategy that's going to effortlessly and consistently, well, not effortlessly, you do have to master your content strategy, but once getting to that place where you know what you're doing and you are consistently attracting dream clients into your offers, then I would love to invite you to join Tell Stories That Sell, which is the program where I share all the pieces to really create that clarity on the content strategy that will attract the people you're truly excited to work with and make the sales process simple, effective, and fun. Um, and you know how to intentionally set up your sales process to be making sales from your content with no more need for sales calls. And I've including bonuses, like I've got a selling in your DMs bonus, where I guide you through how to have that conversation with people if they, you know, they do still have some questions to be answered. So you really do have everything that you need to be nailing it at your, at your content strategy and to, you know, see the results showing up for you. I am obsessed with this program. I'm obsessed with what's possible when you implement this program. I'm so excited to get it into the hands of more people. So definitely, if this is speaking to you, go and check it out at withsaramac.com for all the goodies. Thank you so much for tuning in and please share with me your comments, share with me your takeaways. And, you know, if you're looking to step into dropping sales calls and creating that extra time back and the extra freedom in your business, send me a message, send me your declaration so I can send you good vibes for you figuring that out and getting that up and running as quickly as possible. And please share this with anybody you know who would benefit and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. For more inspirational content, head over to my website with and please support the show by liking, commenting, and subscribing.